So, Jack, what is resilient regenerative farming? Well, it's a, it's a mouthful, isn't it? Resilient regenerative <laughs> farming is, uh, I think, maybe we'll look at that quickly at ourselves. Regenerative, resilient living, right? Because this is all about living systems. This is about holistic care of a place. So before we talk about farming, I just want to say this is a greater ecology that we're caring for. My job is as a steward of this place that's around us. And I want to take care of this place, but I also am tasked with being able to produce a lot of food for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be this balance between uh, caring for my watershed and my soils and the habitats that surround me and the kind of food that I'm going to produce. And, and I have to be aware of that. That's what resilience and regeneration means, is that I'm perpetuating life, regenerating it, not uh, extracting it. I'm not just drawing whatever this earth has to give me. We're going to and pull it all it out and it let it dead. all go and then yeah. just walk away. That's not right. Nice. So the regeneration yeah. is, is peace. Peace. See, it's peace for farming. It is. Right. It's peace for land. It's, it's yeah. what we've asked to do as a, a, a species, you know, is to be able to perpetuate ourselves and eat in a way. I mean, what we eat, we are what we eat. Some we people are. say we are what we eat eats. And those, these ideas come from healthy soils and healthy systems. The plants themselves, I mean, I, I have, I spend a lot of time choosing what we're going to grow and who's going to be in this space. And I think a lot about every type of plant that I grow in here, but what I really think about is the soil that's underneath it. And that it's healthy. Yeah, because it's so alive. It's a bank of life that gives us all kinds of health, gives us all kinds of protection against uh, epidemics and things like that. It gives us the fertility and nutrition that's necessary for these plants. It reduces and almost entirely eliminates the need for outside inputs like uh, fertilizers and really? pesticides and herbicides and so you don't like have that. to put any of that on the soil because it's just the materials that we put on this space what i i, I use a lot of compost that we mm -hmm. make on site i saw it in actually the toilet is that the compost? <laughs> well, that's a different I saw, compost. Like, I was like, my Midwest, God, what's in that toilet? Is it compost or something? We have we have All composting right. toilets. Let me just clarify. We'll look that. at it later. What we is it? We compost that? with other. We compost our animal manures. We compost all of our vegetable manures. We compost food waste from the restaurant. We compost all sorts of and things. And you put it Everything. in the toilet? No. Oh, you put it here. We make windrows. Oh. Out, outside, we have yeah. an area where we make yeah. our composts, and and then you put it in. The soil. It digests, it gets really hot, it breaks down into something that's really beautiful and crumbly and and uh, Can we ju itself. I just have to pick up the soil because he's really, this is the love of his life. Look at this beautiful soil. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it, it's be no, it's so now nice the color's different, right? That's what I was going to yeah, say, it's very it's dark. It's moist and dark and it's full of all kinds of organisms. That there's you know billions of organisms that no, live we'll in We'll show these you guys the, the soil, it's so beautiful. I don't want, you so, know, like, do people ever try to break into this? Like, I'd steal a couple of plants it? at night. I was going to say. I hope not. I mean. We keep our door open. So huh? if, you, if, you, if you really want to <laughs> take my soil home with you. I was going to say, it looks like such No, I'd good rather soil. people don't take the soil. Yeah. But Are you, you know very what? protective of the soil? The soil is the most I would important. Be. So here's the thing. We, we, the idea of this being resilient is that we're caring for this place. We are improving the soil all the time. So it actually responds and it creates... Uh, a kind of buffer, a protection around the plants. It, it has all the biological activity and physical qualities and chemical attributes necessary for the plants to live a healthy life. So the soil's kind of like the parents. Yeah. And, it, and it protects the plant until it's big enough to be pulled out? Right. Plants, are, you know, uh, sometimes it's funny because so many people are so connected with computers and, yeah. and not with the land. Right. One of the uh, metaphors we use here is the soil is the hardware. It, it's, it's sort of an in, this thing that is just this massive base of, of information that's going to be giving. The plants are soft. They are entirely replaceable. We can put new varieties on all the time. We constantly rotate the crops that we have over the land. We're so growing crops just for the soil. We're growing things that only go right back in, cover crops that are grown specifically to be turned in and digested by the soils. Um, the only thing we're really adding from outside mm -hmm. are, are things like powdered kelp. 
we, we love kelp. I put a lot of kelp on the ground here. Is that because it um, has salt in it? Um, well, it has a lot of nutrients. Nutrients. And kelp and is very good. Ocean meals in general mm -hmm. are very balanced in nutrition. So in terms of uh, getting some of that other stuff, I love to add kelp to the space pretty regularly. And not to feed the plant, but to feed the soil. Regen rejuvenate the soil. Right. So that's what that idea is. Resilient is the idea for the, the space or the environment or us or whatever mm -hmm. that is it's in sort of... Uh, uh, it's all the same, interconnected like that. So the idea with resilience is that when there is an issue, whether that's a climatic issue or a pest issue or a fertility issue, that these things have a, a the place has a capacity to bounce back. Resilient. Mm -hmm. And regenerative. And rejuvenate itself. Right. Regenerative means that it, it's, it's going, it's moving all the time. It's not something I have to do. I don't need to add it's something alive. to make it grow. It's it is alive. fully alive and growing. <gasps> oh. Right, so this place takes less all the time and gives more. How does that happen? That can only happen by It happens because there's a genius looking at the soil. My soil wouldn't be quite Well, so here's good. the thing about that. We're always trying to get people to really think about the land in that way as, as stewards and caretakers of the space. Yes. It's, science is a valuable thing, mm -hmm. but we can't forget about our relationship to intuition and just plain experience and patience. Beautiful.